Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room. Can't talk. Hyrule Warriors to play. Enjoy the review. It's a good game. Hyrule Warriors Legends. Yes, this is like a wonderful gateway drug into the brilliant Dynasty Warriors series, one of my favorite game franchises. Where you play as Link... Zelda, and a bunch of other characters that I know next to nothing about, because I'm one of the few people who's played more Dynasty Warriors games than Zelda. Hooray! Someone just gave Link an Atari 7800! Alright, I played The Legend of Zelda back on the NES when it was new, using Nintendo Power Magazine as my source for maps and hints way before the internet. Years later, I played Ocarina of Time, and now, Hyrule Warriors Legends. I'm a Legend of Zelda master. I've always enjoyed the Zelda series from the style and the music standpoint, but they're usually not my kind of game, and they're next to impossible to review because people treat them like a religion. I like the approach they took here where they mashed up numerous Zelda games and characters and environments, wrapped it in a goofy storyline, and then basically just reskin a Dynasty Warriors game. So think of this as Dynasty Warriors Gundam with the Legend of Zelda characters. You don't need to know anything about the Zelda series to enjoy it, but... I think it kinda helps to know something about the Dynasty Warriors games. Because they're more than just hack and slash games. You really need to know where you're going and what objectives that you need to complete. So, word of advice when starting this, if you're not familiar with the Dynasty Warriors games, play it on easy and pay attention to where the game tells you to go. Because you need to complete objectives within a certain time or else your mission ends in failure. And then Zelda dumps Link and goes out with Sonic. It's true, but I really like this one. It plays extremely well on the new 3DS XL. You may want the additional horsepower for this one, even though it does play on the standard 3DS XL. Sometimes it will chug and grind and the loading screens take forever. You'll also probably want that additional thumbstick or the C-stick or nubbin or whatever they call it on the new 3DS XL so that you can rotate the camera more efficiently while running through these massive battlefields, but as you can see, it does play on the standard 3DS XL. It does not, however, play on the Atari Lynx. The structure and layout of Hyrule Warriors Legends is pretty much exactly like all of the other Dynasty Warriors games. You start with a couple characters, Link obviously, and unlock new ones as you complete levels, and then you can go back and replay levels with the other characters that you've unlocked. So you can literally play the game as long as you want to continue playing it. It, like, it never ends. These games never end. There may be an ending to the storyline, but you can keep playing, grinding, leveling up, exploring, and collecting things. And Hyrule Warriors Legends makes an excellent mobile game on the 3DS XL. Or, I'm sorry, the new 3DS XL. Preferably. You can also get Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U. I have not played that version to compare it, but it does look really good. If this is your first foray into the Dynasty Warriors, style games, make sure you pay attention to your map on the bottom screen. And I think that actually works pretty well on the 3DS, how they split the screens up like that. It'll always tell you what you need to do and then frequently blink or flash if you have to run somewhere and clear out a room or defeat a bad guy. Keep an eye on your friends. Frequently you can't let your friends lose, so you have to go save their ass half the time. Yeah. 
Yeah! Many of the levels have end bosses, and they can be pretty tricky. If you've played a lot of the other Dynasty Warriors games, there, there's literally nothing you haven't seen here before except the inclusion of the Zelda franchise. There's some nice looking cutscenes as you noticed you level your characters up, and of course this has 3D gameplay, but to be honest I thought it was uh, kind of a blurry mess. I don't think the 3D works really well on this one if you're spinning the camera around. It just it just gets disorienting. The 3D works better for games like Altered Beast. As you can tell, I like Hyrule Warriors Legends. I kind of figured I would, that's why I bought it. It makes a great game on the go for vacation if you're taking a trip. Riding the train, whatever. The missions themselves are fairly long, but you can just pause them, shut your 3DS, and pick them up later. There's checkpoints. There's loads of characters. It's a lot of fun. It plays well. I have nothing but great things to say about this, and I hope that it gets more people into the Dynasty Warriors series, because there's like hundreds of those games spread across numerous platforms, and most of them are fairly cheap after the next one comes out. Warriors Orochi 3 is one of my favorites. I love the Dynasty Warriors Gundam games. And I'm still waiting for Dynasty Warriors Transformers. I think that would be tons of fun. But until then, you've got Hyrule Warriors Legends and Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U as well. When you get to the end of the game, it really forces you to use all of your button mashing skills and strategy to win. Because you're controlling numerous characters on the field, and especially when you're fighting a big end boss, you need to get them all together. And that means you can't let one of them off in the corner, or leave one of them alone in the corner to lose, or let Zelda get stabbed in the back or something. It's like you've got to have complete control of the entire battlefield. And I found the last couple battles absolutely exhilarating. And of course there's a bunch of unlockable characters and stuff. It's such a great game. I'm such a Dynasty Warriors fanboy. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that if you want to use the 3D feature, you need the new, new 3DS XL, not the old uh, 3DS XL. But I don't think the 3D is all that great anyway. This plays really well in 2D. It's tons of fun. So many hours of Dynasty Warriors enjoyment here in Hyrule Warriors for your 3DS. And the Kirby Amiibo is nice too, if for no other reason than he gives emotional support. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From... New Jersey! Michael Fernandez! People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver! Woo! EDM! Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia! Philip Straubenmuller from Vienna, Austria! Austria. Cue the thunder! Jeff! Captain Dauntless! Briar! Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh hi, Cunny. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale, fighter of space bees. Woo! Rick DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson, Nelson. fighters of the future. That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout BUSY SIGNAL! That's right, and keep the volume loud, and the party rocking, for... Sean Zoltek. Really?
No. Shenzel Deck! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular. Will. Will. Will? Will. 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 Will.